Welcome user, in the last video we have seen how we can handle outliers in the numerical data set. In this video we are going to talk about categorical data set and we will discuss what problem we can face if we consider textual data as it is for modeling. So let us start. Under workspace window you can check imported data. The data which I have imported I have created for testing purpose to show different operations on categorical data. Over here you can see data is having 10 observations and 3 features. Assume for this video all 3 features are the input features and we don't have any output feature for this data set. Because in this video I am going to just show you how we can handle categorical data set. First problem we can face if data is having any outlier then our model would not be accurate. First let us check factor level of each feature. Tabulate function will provide us summary of mentioned feature. If we count number of states, we can see 3 states. So for state feature, factor level is 3. And if we check the percentage of occurrence, we can say these are the valid observations and we can conclude data is not having any outlier for state feature. Now check summary of gender feature. Here also we can conclude gender feature is having 2 factor level and feature is not having any outlier. But if we check summary of grade feature, we can note value yes is not fitting in the column or it is not a frequent. So we can say this is outlier for grade feature and if we ignore yes observation then we conclude grade feature is having 3 factor level. Now let us check the code to remove outliers from grade feature. Line number 10 will store observations from grade feature to variable having name check. The next line of code will show frequencies of grade feature. After that I have extracted rows and column from calculated frequency table. And my next step is I am going to replace values having frequency less than or equal to 10% with mode of grade feature. Or we can replace with any value. Just replace high string with that particular value. With the help of for loop I can replace indexes whose values are less than or equal to 10%. Testcat.grade is equal to check will update the table. Now if I check the summary, over here you can conclude yes value is replaced with high value. So we have solved our first problem. The second problem is related to machine learning modeling. The problem is that majority of machine learning models are based on mathematical equations. So it will cause problem if we keep categorical information for modeling. So we have to encode categorical values to numerical values. And while encoding we have to check factor level of categorical feature and check whether categorical feature is having order or not. I have created excel sheet to show difference between ordered data and non-ordered data. First let us see the excel sheet and after that we will perform operations on the categorical feature in the MATLAB. You can check this is the same data that I have imported in the MATLAB. First feature is state and feature is having 3 distinct state names. So we can say factor level of state feature is 3. The next feature is gender feature having 2 distinct values. So we can say factor level is 2 for gender feature and factor level of grade feature is 3. Our next step is encoding. If feature is not having any order then we are using one hot encoding and if feature is having order then we are using frequency encoding. If we talk about gender feature it is having factor level 2. So we can easily map values from gender feature. Over here I have mapped male to 1 and female to 0. But if I talk about state feature having factor level 3. And if I map textual values like that I have mapped in the column L, it will create problem. We know that value 3 is more than 2 and 2 is more than 1. So we can also say Assam is having more value than Goa and Goa is having more value than Punjab. And machine learning model also considers such comparison while modeling. This will mislead the information and this is a not true case in the reality. So in this case we can say factor level is 3 and there is no relational order between these 3 values. However, there are some cases where it will make sense. For instance, if we talk about grade feature, grade feature is having 3 factor level and there is a relational order between these 3 values. So what I have encoded in the column L for state feature is not correct way of encoding. When data is not having relational order between values of the particular feature. Now the question is what is the correct approach? The correct approach is when feature is having more than 2 factor level then create dummy variable for each factor. So in this case state feature is having 3 factor level so I have created 3 dummy variables and to encode just follow one hot encoding that shows the presence of each possible value from the original data. What I have done for gender and state feature is one hot encoding 
and I have used one hot encoding because these two features are not having any order. But if we talk about grid feature, we can't use one hot encoding because grid feature is ordered data. In such case, we are going to encode values by considering frequencies of each value. Right here, you can say high value is occurring five times in the grid feature. That's why I have encoded high with five. Same way I have followed for remaining two values. And this procedure is called as frequency encoding. Now let us do same encoding in the MATLAB. First, I will do one hot encoding for the feature gender and state. And after that, I will show frequency encoding for grade feature. Over here, you can see the code of one hot encoding. First, let us encode gender column. Function is member will provide logical array. For male value, array will represent 1. And for female value, array will represent 0. If I run the code, you can see logical array. Double function will convert logical array to numerical array format. After that, I am going to convert array format into table having column name male and I am storing this new feature in the male variable. Last line of code will frame new column to existing data. Now run the code and you can see encoded column is added with column name male. Now let us see encoding for state column. State is having more than two factor level. Factor level of state is three. So we have to create new three columns to store encoding. Instead of coding for each separate column, I have created a standard code which can be applicable to any factor level. Now let us discuss the code. State variable will extract unique values from state feature. Now if I run the code, you can see unique values from state feature. Dummy variables will store new columns that we will be adding to show encoding. Variable will extract values from feature state. So I am going to create dummy variables that will take length of unique state and I am getting numerical array that would be stored in dummy variables. After that, I am converting my unique data set to cell array and what I have stored in dummy variables, I am extracting in the new variable. The last line of code will create new data frame with existing data. Now run the code. You can see three more features are added having encoding of state feature. This is all about one hot encoding. Now let us see the code for frequency encoding. Over here, you can see frequency table of grade feature out of four values. Yes value was our outlier and we have already removed that outlier. So ignore yes value. The next line of code will store number of rows and columns of frequency table. Grade variable will create new single column which will store encoded values and it would have same size like original grade feature. By using for loop we can extract values from second column of frequency table. And variable indexes will store indexes of categorical value of corresponding frequency. And after that I am just assigning indexes of categorical value to frequencies that has been stored in v variable last line of code will update table if i run the code you can see new feature is added and feature contain encoded values this is all about frequency encoding at the end we can note some important points for categorical data the first point is if data is having outlier then replace that outlier with mode of that feature or with any related value that user want the second point is we can't directly apply categorical data for machine learning modeling. First, we have to encode that categorical data. In categorical data, data is having two types. First type is data with not order where we can't compare values from feature. Second type is data with order where we can compare values from feature. If data is not having any order, in such cases, we encode data by using one hot encoding. And if data is having order, then we encode data by using frequency encoding. This will end our video. In the next video, we are going to see feature scaling. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments and get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing.